everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Debbie this is my crafty den and I journal um, on Sundays and post it on Mondays so this is my Sunday journal page this is the this is the journal that I started in March near the end of March and I've, I mean, I've, I do more writing than decorating in here, as you can see. But last week I put down a bunch of color. And this week I'm going to put a base of color down here to write on. And then maybe put a few things in. But I'm just going to take this piece of scrap, uh, scrapbooking paper. And I am going to punch, I'm going to punch some circles. I'm, I'll keep the circles to maybe use for something else. So let's kind of put these so that they're the same distance apart. And then I'll show you what I'm going to do with them. So I think circles are always a really interesting shape, especially if you layer them over top of each other. And I'm going to do the same with this. Do maybe four there. This is just a little one inch and the other one was a two and a half inch circle. So I'm I'm just gonna put some color down on here. So I think I'm going to stick with some lighter colors. I've got this Distress Oxide, it's peeled paint, and I just use these makeup brushes. So let's see if I can put some of this down. So I'm gonna take these circles how far I'm going to do it this way so I can see how far in from that edge I am and I'm going to you can hear the train going by I'm not far from a train track and just on the back road here it crosses over the river so it goes over a big bridge and when it goes over the bridge it makes a lot of noise so I have circles on my page but then I also have these smallish circles like this and I always think that it's cool to do something like this just circles just some circles on my paper so I've got three and then I am going to do two like this And then I'll do three like that. Just just to kind of be a little bit different. And then I think I'm going to do one more. But I'm just going to use what I've got on my makeup brush. And I'm just going to put that down there like that. So I have these really cool circles. So I've kind of got something started. Then I have this. It's really, really pretty. It's a piece of vellum. I actually used this piece of vellum in one of my traveler's notebooks. So it's a leftover scrap. 
I think this came in um, your Creative Studio um, journaling box. And I want to use part of this. So I'm going to, I'm just going to tear some. I like this little bit of hand pointing. So I think I'm going to glue this down to the bottom corner here and I'll use a little bit of wet glue for this. So I got my fine line applicator. This is the fine tip and I'm just going to go around the outside edge. My clock's really loud tonight. I'm, I'm doing this on Sunday night. So, I've been busy all day. I, um, I didn't have time to sit down and journal, but I thought it would be a great time to, to do a little bit. So I'm just gonna put a little bit more. I'm gonna put a second row around just to make sure that this stays down because it's a really little bit of glue. Okay, so and that green is just perfect in the background of this. So I'm just going to, because this wants to curl, vellum always wants to curl as soon as you add a little bit of wet glue to it. So I'm just going to keep pushing this down until it decides to catch. I like using up little bits. Now I want a little bit of washi. Where's that? I'm going to use this one. This is one of the ones that I got from... I think I'm just going to just tear a piece off. This is one of the ones that I got from Timu. I'm going to put it up this side right here. So you can still see that shading from those circles in behind. And then I'm going to put a little bit of something, something across here. I've got a little bit more of this. I've got a little bit more of this, but it's just a different pattern from what I had. I think I'm going to take my ruler. I'm going to put it down here and I'm going to try to tear this edge up. like that so that it's not quite straight. The same thing across the bottom here. Down the other side. I'm kind of just using the ruler to keep it from going crazy. there like that so just another little bit over like that let me see where's that little <laughs> I just put this down and then I couldn't find it I'm gonna use this glue and go back and forth across the middle so that if those edges stick up a little bit, they can. Like that. So just stick it down in the middle. 
there. Now I need a stamp or something to put in here. I don't want to get it too bulky though. I like to leave it flat. Um, oh my gosh, as soon as I turn my back on this, it just starts to curl right up. the really cool thing about vellum is that as soon as you add a little bit of wet glue to it it all crinkles and curls up and gets really old looking which I think is really awesome one of the things I like about it so I'm just gonna set that on there for a minute and put a little weight on top of it and I have this really cool washi. This is from that uh, insect set from Amazon. And I'm just gonna cut. I just think it needs a little something. So I'm just gonna cut it. I'm gonna leave the edges straight because these do look like little specimen boxes, I guess. And I am going to take this. Now I want to preserve certain parts. So I want to be able to see this dragonfly along with this one and this one. And I can still see this little hand peeking out from underneath here. And I think that that's enough and I'm going to write on here. So this week I chose to write part of one of my favorite Walt Whitman poems in here. It is called Song of the Open Road. I'm a big fan of Walt Whitman's poetry. Um, have been for a long, long time. And this one is, I'll read the poem to you. Um, it says, a foot and lighthearted I take to the open road, healthy, free, the world before me, the long brown path before me leading wherever I choose. Henceforth I ask not good fortune, I myself am good fortune. Henceforth I whimper no more, postpone no more, need nothing. Done with indoor complaints, libraries, querulous criticisms, strong and content I travel the open road. The earth that is sufficient, I do not want the constellations any nearer. I know they are very well where they are. I know they suffice for those who belong to them. Still, here I carry my old delicious burdens. I carry them, men and women. I carry them with me wherever I go. I swear it is impossible for me to get rid of them. I am filled with them and I will fill them in return. So I just, I had been reading a few of his poems this week. Um, I, I really do enjoy them, like I said. And this one kind of just spoke to me this week in particular. So I thought it would be something to save, at least in part, here, just as a reminder that this is what I was doing this week. When I... I'm done filming. I, of course, will go in here and journal my feelings for the week on this page, and I'll be done with this week. So I hope you enjoy these little journal with me videos. If you do, give the video a thumbs up and let YouTube know that you're watching. I would love if you'd subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already and become part of my YouTube family. Uh, come on back, watch a few more videos, visit. Maybe we could get to be friends. And I'll see everybody in the next one. Until then, bye-bye for now, everybody. Take care. Bye.